Hey everyone, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on this February. Of course, February is the month of love and romance, but it can also be a really heavy time for a lot of people because they feel alone and they feel like they may not necessarily find their soulmate or their partner or be with someone that really makes them feel connected to their self. So I wanted to talk a little bit about relationships and what you have to understand is the reason why we have such a yearning to want to be with our soulmates or connect with our twin flames or connect with partnerships is because there's an aspect of us that really wants to connect with a sense of self. We really want to um, really bridge the gap between our, old, our own unhealed aspects. So we bring in these partners and these relationships and soulmates and soulmates are not just um, you know, a significant other. They're your best friends, they're friendships, they're co-workers, and each person brings in an other aspect of yourself that needs to be balanced, needs to be nurtured, needs to be cared for, and loved unconditionally. So we really need to step into the space of looking at relationship as a real big opportunity for us to heal unhealed aspects of ourselves. So how do we do this? It's so important for you to look at the person that you're with or your friendships and and relationships and really look at how these relationships are aspects of you then you need to register how this person and you are working together to grow and learn from each other we in our relationships have the most expansion the most that we can grow and learn in our relationships that's why we get married that's why we have these partnerships that's why we fight for love that's why we're looking for everything because ultimately we really want to connect to our heart centers and we really want to find unconditional love for ourselves so this idea of like needing a partner, wanting a partner, being in a relationship really just means that you're really looking to deepen your connection with yourself. If you are in a toxic relationship, what it really just means is that you're learning unhealed aspects of who you are and the unhealed traumas that you have gone through. So it's super important for you to really register. Are you setting your boundaries appropriately? Are you really connecting to who you truly are? Have you really accommodated an aspect of yourself so that you can be with this person because you fear that you're going to be alone? A partnership that really works is two parties that are willing to work together that are willing to connect, that are willing to grow together, and are, that are willing to see the unhealed aspects within themselves so that they can stop projecting into their environments and really start connecting in growth within each other and their experiences. When we bring in children into these dynamics as well, what you're learning is that these are, children are extensions of also the relationship and the individual selves. So there's so much happening and so much learning and growth, which is so imperative for individuals to really deepen their connection with themselves, get grounded, get focused, and really do the healing work within themselves. When a partnership is in alignment, you'll be on the same page. The two of you are going to work together, and the two of you are really going to get on board with making each other better. Not trying to change the person, but trying to definitely bring out better potentials in each each other and if you're finding that maybe one partner may be resistant to change you need to just keep focusing on your own healing and that person will either match your frequency and continue on the path with you or you will then eventually have to make the decision of going further on your own personal journey and growth relationships are you, you should always have relationships whether it's friendships whether it's you know new partnerships whatever it is because they really do help you grow within yourself we know that the worst relationships that we've ever had were the best experiences we ever had because we have a, we have learned and grown the most within them but if we're repeating our patterns and we really have to reevaluate what unhealed traumas are in us so that we can change the patterns. We don't want to keep repeating cycles and we definitely don't want to bring in children into the exact same experiences. Some of us really need to wake up and there's another thing out there. When you're feeling really alone, you're going and that's something that's deep in your core from a wound from your childhood so it feels like a big void. You're going to want to connect. You're going to want to find connection with people. So of course you're going to gravitate to maybe addictive partnerships or people that are not willing to do the work. But 
if the person is willing to work with you and to grow with you and see the unhealed aspects within themselves, then you know that this partnership is worth fighting for. If they're not, then it's probably time for you to reevaluate whether or not you should stay in that relationship. Partnerships can be beautiful growths and experiences, and they could be the most painful experiences ever as well. But you really need to reevaluate what your own personal value and worth is in the circumstances and situations. Don't lose yourself in partnerships and in situations where you feel like you have to compromise your own inner being. It is so important for you to really step into the space of honoring yourself, your boundaries, your self-worth, and your love. I hope that February, and I'm sending out lots of love to each and every one of you, I have complete faith that if you're, you and your partner are working together, there will be immense growth, immense healing, and there will be some really great breaking of lineage and genetic patterns. But if you're somebody who's in denial about the situation that you're in, then you're going to get a rude awakening this couple of months because a full moon is really pushing things forward and you may find yourself in a situation where you're going to have to make some serious decisions. So again, I'm sending you lots of love and I know that you're going to make the right decision for you because you always do. So I want you to honor that. You've never not made the right decision for you. Sending you much love. Take care. Bye.